Hello everyone. We got our first video request here. Harley Totnock asked for a video on all the penguin types, so that's what we're covering today. Strap in, because there's 18 different types of penguins. Let's go in alphabetical order. That way we can start with one of my favorite penguin types, the Adeli. The reason why it's one of my favorites is because of Steve from the Disney movie commentary Penguins. He's an Adeli. I recommend watching Steve. He's great. Anyway, the Adelis are relatively small, measuring up to about 27 inches. Their relatively flat heads help distinguish them. They live on Antarctica and on many small coastal islands surrounding the place. In their dives to find food, they can travel as many as 185 miles in a round trip. Imagine trying to swim that far as a tiny creature. Although close to the Adeli in height at about 24 to 27 inches, the African penguin has a very different feather pattern. Their dark dots splayed on their white chests help individualize each penguin, as these markings are about as different among each penguin as fingerprints are for each human. They all have a bare patch above their eyes that holds blood there to cool down the penguin, helpful for coping with the hot temperatures of South Africa. These birds build nests in sand or under bushes or rocks. The populations of these have unfortunately plummeted due to habitat loss, overfishing, and coastal development, though. Slightly smaller than the African penguin is the chinstrap, their height being about 18 to 24 inches. They're easy to identify with their thin black strap on their white face, hence the name chinstrap. They typically eat large krill, but will also eat squid and fish. Chinstrap penguins may be the largest in population of the penguins, with an estimated population of 7.5 million breeding pairs. Ready for the largest penguin? On average, emperor penguins are about 45 inches tall, about the size of an average six-year-old person. You can recognize these penguins by noting their black heads, wings, and back, their white stomach, and the yellowish gold on the sides of their heads. Emperor penguins live in Antarctica, but due to global warming and overfishing, they're becoming near-threatened in terms of endangerment. Downsizing a bit, let's take a look at the erect crested penguins. They're typically about 25 inches tall, and you can identify them through the raised yellow crests on their heads and their unique beaks. They're found along the coasts of New Zealand, Australia, and the Antipodes and the Bounty Islands. They're classified as endangered, with their population diminishing due to uncertain causes. Another crested penguin is the Fjordland Crested Penguin. You can recognize them from their yellow plumes on their head. Plus, they're the only crested penguin to have white stripes on their cheeks. They live in nests under bushes, between tree roots, or in holes, but they spend most of their lives at sea. Sometimes even barnacles grow on their tails since they've been at sea for a long time at times. The Galapagos penguin has bare patches of skin around their eyes and beneath the bill, like other penguins in temperate places. They're one of the smaller temperate penguins, though, being the second smallest penguin type at about 19 inches in height. They're also the only ones to live on the equator, and are only found in the Galapagos Islands, hence their name. Although they stay in the water most of the day to keep cool, they also have a stance to keep cool where they lean forward and stretch their flippers out to the sides to keep their bare feet and flipper underparts cool. Due to a couple of El Nino Southern Oscillation events in the late 1900s, these penguins have been endangered for a while. Fortunately, they're working on making a steady comeback. To tell the Gentoo penguins apart from the others, look no further than their distinctive orange-red bills and the white cap of feathers connecting their eyes over their heads. They're also the third largest penguin, at about 24 to 30 inches tall. They hang out in the Antarctic, and fortunately they're listed as least concern in conservation terms. Like other temperate penguins, Humboldt penguins have bare patches of skin around their eyes and beneath the bill, plus no feathers on their legs. Something definitely different in their appearance, though, is the large black stripe across their chest. They're typically about 22 to 26 inches tall, and they're found along the coasts of Peru and Chile. They've been marked as vulnerable to endangered due to things like overfishing of prey, gill nets, and El Nino Southern Oscillation events. The king penguin is distinguishable through its black head, chin, and throat, along with the tear-shaped orange patches on each side of the head. Being as big as they are, 37 inches on average, king penguins walk slowly and don't hop. They prefer living in sub-Antarctic islands and peninsulas, 
Unfortunately, they're listed as least concern in terms of conservation status. Little penguins, little blue penguins, or fairy penguins, take your pick of a name. They all describe the same small penguin. It's the smallest one, actually, who are easy to identify by their 13 to 15 inches height and blue feathers. They tend to live on the coasts of southern Australia and New Zealand. Interestingly, they tend to be nocturnal, since they do most of their activity at night. Fortunately, they're also listed as least concern in terms of conservation status. To distinguish these penguins, look for the yellow feathers extending backwards on the sides of the head, above the red eyes. They tend to be about 20 to 24 inches tall. Macaroni penguins. They live in subantarctic islands in the South Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The origin behind their name is due to how a young man in the 18th century who wore flashy feathers in his hat was called a macaroni by the English. And the English explorers who named the penguin figured the yellow-crested penguin resembled such a name. Although these penguins look very similar to the Humboldt penguin, Magellanic penguins have less bare skin showing on their faces. Humboldt penguins have bare skin extending down to their bill, while Magellanic penguins have more black feathers beneath their bill. Magellanic penguins grow to about 24 to 28 inches in height and live in temperate regions of South America. They're only near threatened, but oil pollution and overfishing of anchovies threaten their lives. Rockhoppers are the smallest of the crested penguins, at a height of about 21 inches. Northern rockhoppers have red eyes and seriously spiked crests of yellow and black, but mostly black, with the thin yellow spiking partially downward. They live in subantarctic islands, where they're listed as vulnerable. Instead of waddling, they tend to hop with both feet from rock to rock, hence their name, Rockhopper. Royal penguins are the largest of the crested penguins, at a height of 26 to 30 inches. They have yellow and black mixed into their crests, which meet at their bill. They live in the Macquarie, Bishop, and Clerk Islands in the Southern Ocean. They were exploited for oil back in the early 1900s, but the population has stabilized since then. Snares Island penguins have a thin crest of yellow plumes extending past their eyes. The way to tell them apart from other crested penguins is by looking for the bare patch of skin beneath their bill. Other crested penguins don't have that. They're found in the Snares Islands, and due to limited breeding areas, they're listed as vulnerable in terms of conservation. Southern rockhoppers are very similar to northern rockhopper penguins, only they have more yellow in their crests than black. Like their northern counterparts, they're listed as vulnerable by a conservation standpoint, and they live in the subantarctic islands. They tend to measure up to 18 inches in height. Southern rockhoppers are the only penguins who will dive into water feet first rather than head first. Yellow-eyed penguins are easy to remember their distinguishing traits. They have pale yellow eyes and a pale yellow head, plus a stripe of bright yellow extending around their head between their eyes. A lot of yellow. They live in southeast New Zealand, and it's said that their penguin calls are semi-musical in comparison to other penguins. Yellow-eyed penguins are listed as endangered due to human disturbances and new predators like cats and ferrets. All penguin species are protected from hunting and egg collecting, but there are still plenty of dangers to them. If you'd like to support penguin conservation, try looking up places such as World Wildlife to make a symbolic penguin adoption or donate to help make the world a better place for penguins. Now that we've covered all 18 penguin types, you've taken some time to learn some zoology. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more videos on science, art, and math, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my website, Steam for Sam. See you next time.